Hallelujah. He's a wonderful God. Don't you ever forget it. God is good and all the time God is good. Listen to this. I want to continue on something the Spirit of the Living God has impressed strongly in my heart. You need it. I can assure you. Listen to what the Spirit is saying to the church. You are excellent. Work it out. You are excellent. Work it out. A lot of people don't understand this. They presume themselves to be mediocre. They presume themselves to be failures. They presume themselves to be average, to be uh, not consequential. A lot of people are trained that way because they are conformed to a pattern of a world that is failed. I have said to you before that Satan is the prince of this corrupt world. He is the ruler of this corrupt world. The systems of this world have been made in such a way by Satan working through different personalities and different institutions and complexities and cultures and ways to establish failure. You don't belong to this world. Jesus said you are of this world, but you are, you are, you are in the world, but you are not of the world. What are you of? You are of God. You are born of his spirit. You are born of his kind. Listen to this. You were made excellent by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. I am aware you have an identity crisis. I am aware that this is not what you have been told by your mama. I am aware this is not what the teachers told you. I am aware that this is not what your peers, your friends, your uh, associates think of you. And when you look into the mirror, many of you do not see what you should be seeing, which is beholding Christ as in the mirror. The mirror is supposed to reflect Christ back at you. Christ is the most excellent. Christ is the first begotten of God. Christ is the son of the living God who you were created to be conformed in the likeness of Romans chapter 8 verses 29 that he then should be the firstborn among many brethren. Now Christ is the most excellent and you are made in the likeness of the most excellent so you are not trying to be excellent nor should you be trying to be excellent you should be aware that you are excellent born in the excellency of god and you should be working out your excellence hallelujah that is what this series is all about i'm not trying to get you to be excellent i know that you are excellent hallelujah and faith concerning the excellence of what you really are comes by hearing and hearing by the word of excellence the gospel of the kingdom of heaven is the word of your excellency the gospel of the kingdom of heaven is the testimony of jesus christ that speaks concerning the excellence that you have become and god has sent apostles and prophets pastors evangelists and teachers i am one of them i am an apostle of jesus christ that have been sent to enlighten your understanding standing by the counsel of the word of excellence so that you would work it out work it out you are not supposed to be working into excellence no you are supposed to be working out of excellence and to such as believe this truth out of your belly shall gush come out gushes of excellent waters excellent waters are in the inside of you excellent waters are in your heart excellent waters are in your mind excellent waters have been put in the inside of you greater is he the excellent one in you than he that is in the world what you need is to acknowledge what is in the inside inside of you you cannot work it out unless you know that you have it in hallelujah now the moment you get a minister of light a minister of righteousness i'm not talking about some echo somewhere i'm not talking about some church
charlatan somewhere. I'm not talking about someone who's preaching to get something from your hand into his pocket. I'm talking about a true minister of God who's trying to get something out of your heart to reveal the glory of God. I believe in you because God died and he proved it on the cross and by the power of the blood of Jesus. You see, because of the sin of Adam, you had become mediocre. Because of the sin of Adam, you had become average. Because of the sin of Adam, you had fallen short of the excellencies of God, of the glory of God. But God did not abandon you to mediocrity. God did not abandon you to failure. God did not abandon you to sin. Sin is rebellion against the excellencies of God. The ways of sin are the ways of mediocrity. The ways of sin are the ways of darkness. That is what Adam's disobedience had set you on. It had set you on the course. The broad way that leads to destruction is the way of mediocrity. It is the way of confusion. It is the way of the flesh. It is the way of failure. No! By the power of the obedience of Jesus Christ, God has made you excellent. As excellent as he is. That is why he calls you children. You are not born of his spirit. You are not born into excellence. You have excellence and you are excellent. Your job is not to work into excellence. Your job is to work out the excellence in you. Do you see that? I see it. When I look at you, I am aware you are excellent. I am aware the excellency of God dwells in you. I am aware that you have been patterned by God to walk in the excellencies of his name. I said to you the last time I talk about your excellency. I said you are God's chosen generation. You are God's holy nation. You are God's excellent people. Peculiar people. Extraordinary people. Why? You are called out of the kingdom of failure. Out of the kingdom of darkness. Out of the kingdom of confusion. Out of the kingdom kingdom of rebellion, out of the kingdom of mediocrity, to come into the kingdom of excellence, the kingdom of light, the kingdom of glory, the kingdom of Jesus Christ, for what purpose? That you may show forth the excellencies of your God. Hallelujah. Why would God show off excellencies unless you are excellent? You can only show what you are. You can never show what you are not. Because God has made you by the power of the blood of Jesus to be excellent, he has determined that you should walk in his excellencies and make manifest his excellencies in your generation, in your city, in your marriage, in your friendships, in your peers, in your family, in your everywhere you are. You are to show the excellencies of God. That is why God has asked me, as an apostle of Jesus Christ to share concerning your excellency and telling me to tell you, work it out. I want to finish with this. Work it out. What does that mean? How do you even do that? You do that by believing that you are excellent in the first place. You work it out from believing that you are excellent. You've got to speak concerning yourself that you are excellent. You've got to see concerning yourself that you are excellent. It doesn't matter where you are, in the prison, in, the, in poverty, in troubles, in chaos. You've got to know you are excellent. Jesus, in the middle of a storm, declared peace be still he knew he was excellent when you walk out from knowing what you are and the excellency of god even the winds and the storms of life shall obey your voice hallelujah working out your excellency tomorrow i will be dealing with a part two of working out your excellency get ready i am with you in the grace of jesus christ you are excellent and it is my greatest honor to serve you as an excellency of God in this world to make manifest the excellence of his praise. That's what you are. That's your assignment. And I'm your servant. 